Save it for the judge. All hope was lost, and clearly I made the worst decision of my life. But wait, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So let me back up and explain how I got here. Come on, come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Ugh, why is this so difficult? Where is this darn thing? Wait, I should just start from the beginning. You're probably still confused. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do this, I think. Ugh, there's nothing ever on TV. I swear, it's just for old people. YouTube is so much better. I'm going on vacation for a couple of weeks. Make sure you clean the house. I don't want to mess when I come home. Okay, bye, Mom. Love you. A few moments later. Unknown caller? Weird. Deny. Unknown caller again? Weird. Definitely not answering it. Ugh, obviously they're not getting the hint. Deny, deny, deny. Moments later. How to block a blocked phone number from calling you. This is unbelievable. Stop calling me. You're annoying. Whew, that should do the trick. Oh my gosh, it says you can't stop a blocked number from calling you because you don't know the number? Ugh, well, they better stop calling me. Three hours later. Ah, no phone, no problems. I wonder how many times that person called since I left my phone upstairs. Who knows, but they may have broken a world record for most phone attempts with no answer. Huh, maybe I'll be famous after this. Yeah, or maybe you'll be famous for being dead. Ah, help, help me! Relax, relax, I was kidding, that would never hurt you. Get out of here right now or I'm calling the police. Wait, you don't need to do that. Then leave and stop calling me. My name's McKenna, yes. I'm sorry for calling you a million times, but we're sisters and I need your help. We are not sisters. Yes, we are. Please, you have to believe me. I'm calling the police. Please, just listen to me. No. Please, just hear me out for a second. I'm not trying to hurt you. See, I'm faster than you. I can catch you easily. And I'm still not trying to hurt you. Please, just hear me out. Fine. Mom had me when she was younger and still in Brookhaven High. But she had to give me up for adoption because she was too young. Then she graduated high her years ago before you were born and then ran away because she met your dad. So what do you want? Money or something? No, I want you. I need your help. How so? Well, I'm being chased by these very bad men and I need your help finding something so I can be safe again. What men? And what do you need me to find? I can't tell you and you wouldn't know who they are anyways. I'm looking for this golden trophy thingy. It's buried out somewhere in the outskirts of town. And if you help me, we'll be a big happy family again. Let me phone my mom first to make sure you really are who you say you are. A few moments later. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. How are you? Is everything okay? I think so. Some random girl McKenna showed up and she's claiming to be my older sister. Oh my god, really? She's back home? I can't believe it. Tell her mom says I love you so much and I can't wait to see her when I get home. Okay, I gotta go. Love you. So, I'm gonna look like you when I'm older? Well, yeah, duh. We're sisters. Oh my god, wow. I cannot wait to glow up because you look good. And I cannot wait to look like that. You'll be looking like this sooner than you think. Okay, so how can I help you find this thing? Okay, so here's the plan. First thing, you need to find the golden trophy in the outskirts of town because that will transport me back in time to fix everything. Then once that's done, we can be a big happy family again. After that, you need to hide me while you look for it. And then you really need to make me some dinner because I've been on the run for over a year and your girl's more than hungry. Roger that. When do you want to go look for the golden trophy? Oh, I think you misunderstood me. I said you, not us. I can't be seen out in public. You have to go alone. But it's almost nighttime and I'm scared to be out at night alone. Can you please, please go with me? Go tomorrow then. Right, good idea. The next day. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. One eternity later. Ugh, why does this have to be so difficult? Where is the darn thing? Come on, McKenzie, you have to do this or else your sister will have to leave. Moments later. Ugh, I can't do this. I give up. I am such a failure. Meanwhile. Jeez, what is taking that child so long? I need to get out of here as fast as possible. I can't do this. Wait, no, I can't. I'm such a failure. <coughs> oh my gosh, this better be it. Moments later. I did Never. Now, here's the most important part. We need to do the ceremony so I can transport back in time, but I need your help. What do we do? Let's do it now. No, no, no. We need to do it at night, in a dark room. Why? I don't know, because that's just the way it is. In order for it to work, it needs to be nighttime. And both of us need to be in a dark room holding on to it together.
together. Later that night. Okay, let's do this. Hold on, hold on. I can't see anything. I wasn't ready. Come here and grab onto it. Didn't you hear me? I can't see anything. Neither can I. But you're already by the golden trophy. Yeah, so? Where are you? Follow my voice. That's not helping. Ouch, that hurts. You need to turn that back on right now. Just follow my voice. It's not rocket science. It seems that way in the dark. There, is that better? No, because the lights aren't on. All right, fine. I'm bringing it to you. Good. All right, are you touching it? Yes. Oh, great magical being, I ask of you to come down. McKenna. Huh? Who's that? That would be you. Don't try and play dumb with me. You've finally been caught and you're all under arrest for stealing people's identities. Moments later. Please, I don't know what's going on. I swear I didn't do anything. My name's Mackenzie. First of all, I know Mackenzie and she's a great girl and would never do anything like this. And second of all, you don't even look alike. She made us switch bodies. <laughs> That's the craziest story I've ever heard in my life. Go find Mackenzie. I'll prove it to you. Meanwhile. Mackenzie, where were you today? Huh? What do you mean? Class? Oh, uh, I've been sick, bro. Bro? You've never called me that before. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. You've never called me that either. What's going on? Uh, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Mackenzie, just the person I've been looking for. I need your help inside. Okay, uh, what do you need? Just follow me. That's her! She stole my body! Arrest her, George! Even ask my best friend, Sky. Even ask my mom! She's my evil sister who's trying to frame me! Who is that crazy lady, George? She's scaring me! I am so sorry, Mackenzie. Don't worry, she's going away for a very long time. I'll keep you safe. Call my mom! Okay? Hey, Mom, do I have an older sister? No, you're an only child, Mackenzie. Why? What's going on? Nothing, just double checking. Thanks, love you. Sorry about that, Mackenzie. You're free to go. Hmm, something's off. Later that night. I'm sorry, George. It has to be done. Huh? What? What's going on? Why'd the lights just go off? I can't see anything. Moments later. Guy, oh my god, am I ever happy to see you? What's going on? How come you're in someone else's body? Five hours later. Oh my god. Moments later. What are you doing here? I've come to clear my name. Ha, good luck with that. Everyone's gonna think you're some crazy person. Just listen to your story. It's absolute crazy talk. Crazier things have happened. Ha, ha, ha. Well, good luck. The police are already on their way. But nice try. I'm really enjoying your body, so thank you. And thank you for taking the fall for me. It means so much. One question. How did you get my mom to lie to me when I was on the phone with her? Oh, that? That wasn't your mom that answered. It was just a pre-recorded message. Well, thank you. For what? For being the best sister in the entire world. Love you lots. Breeze! Don't match with my friend! Huh? What's going on here? She's the bad guy. She's in my house. I just called you to come rescue me. I've been here the entire time, and I've listened to your entire convo. No! You'll regret this, Mackenzie. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Later that night. With your older sister, but I guess it's not all that bad. I mean, I didn't get my old body back, but I do look much older, and that is pretty cool. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and congratulations to Jill Jefferson for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. Love you.